The Permian Basin is the largest oil and gas basin in the United States and one of the largest in the world. There's been over a 100% increase in oil and gas production over the last several years, but there's been very little research that's gone on. Some of the preliminary data indicates that emissions may be substantially higher in the Permian than in other basins, so it's critical that we start really understanding the magnitude of the problem so we can figure out what solutions there are to reduce emissions. Methane is a greenhouse gas that has over 80 times the warming potential of carbon dioxide on, on a mass basis. It's the main ingredient, the main constituent of natural gas. So it really contributes to the rate of climate change. Methane is invisible and odorless, so it's very difficult to detect with the naked eye, but there are technologies that allow people to visualize methane. We have three primary teams that we're working with. The University of Wyoming is doing some uh, ground-based measurements with their, their mobile laboratory. Scientific Aviation is using their research aircraft to measure emissions of individual sites and large regions in the Permian. And then Penn State University is creating a network of towers that will have methane monitors to estimate the total emissions of methane in the region. Every type of measurement has its place in obtaining the whole story of methane emissions. And so with the aircraft, you can cover large regions and allows you to get a more holistic or integrated view of emissions. Our measurements are complementing the aircraft and tower by giving some ground truth data. The plane and tower can't get down to those small scales. If aircraft finds a very large source, then they can let us know about that area and we can drive over there and try to pinpoint which site is actually emitting the most. It's a year-long project where we'll be measuring the main, most concentrated part of infrastructure in the Permian. With all these different levels of measurements, you have satellites, you have airplanes, you have ground teams, it's like a puzzle. By understanding emissions at these different levels, will be able to really understand patterns. As quickly as possible, the emissions data, including the identity of sites with detected emissions, will be placed on a website that will allow in the public, oil and gas companies and regulators to view the data and hopefully take action. It's the first time that we're using peer-reviewed methods to produce data and then quickly get it out within weeks rather than years. I'm particularly excited to see how companies will respond to the data and find individual instances of large emissions which they can repair. Regulators could use the data to see if there's any uh, violations of regulations or potentially revise regulations to better control methane. A lot of times uh, people can go out and can, can fix the emissions immediately after finding them. It can be just tightening a, a valve or connector. Also will be more longer term engineering solutions. Maybe equipment has some problems and malfunctions and then solving those. This is not just bad for my family, it's bad for future generations. If we keep doing what we're doing and we're not responsible in how this stuff is being taken out of the ground and we're just willy-nilly throwing this stuff up into the air, it's going to keep heating this planet. It's really preventable. Some of us were shamed and ridiculed and told basically, if you don't like it, then leave, because we don't want you here anyway. And 
this is my home. This is where I've chosen to stay and raise my family. I'm not gonna just get up and leave. I'm gonna work to change things for the better. Having the scientific data that proves what's going on really would help crystallize our understanding of what we're doing to our environment, what we're doing to our community, what we're doing to our, our future. It gives us the opportunity to sit down together and look at the difficult facts. We can solve this if we work together. There's been a really big change in how oil and gas companies view methane emissions. Many oil and gas companies admit that they have a problem with methane. Uh, and they're actually using many of the same techniques to understand the emissions. There's still a lot of work that needs to be done, but I'm optimistic that it is a solvable problem.